everybody, it's Amy Fabriziani, and I just wanted to come talk to you, um, give you a little motivation for today. Um, I was watching some videos because that's how I kind of pour into myself um, about motivation and just getting back on the horse and getting things done that I want to get done. And there are a lot of things that I listened to today that I wanted to share with you. Um, one was, if you quit now, that pain, that, you know, thought that you will carry with you for the rest of your life, that quitting, when it was something you wanted so bad, it's going to last forever. I know, trust me, it's just like regrets, right? They say, you know, every day is a new day and a new moment and you have to protect your dreams. You have to go and work for what it is you if you want something, you got to go get it. Period. Done. Boom. Bam. That's the way it is. You want to lose weight. You got to do it. You want to make more money. You got to do it. You want to be able to fit in a size, whatever. You got to do it. If you, you know, want to go on a vacation and take your family somewhere. You know what? That dream, that's a dream. Go get it. Go do something about it. Stop sitting there and saying, well, I'll do it tomorrow, or, oh, maybe I'll just do this, or, oh, this happened, or this happened. And stop. Guys, life is too freaking short. We are not guaranteed that we are going to wake up tomorrow. We're not guaranteed every day with our families, with our friends, with our loved ones. We're not guaranteed that. We don't know what's in the cards for us. We don't. So. If you truly believe in something, you have to believe in it. You have to believe that the difference can happen. So first, like, just start, sit down and think about deep down, who do I really want to be? What do I really, really want? You just have to make the decision. And once you decide, don't go back on it. Make the decision and stick with it and follow through. Um, there was something that um, Al Pacino said, um, and I think it's from the movie Any Given, Any Given Sunday, and he says about, we can stay here and get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light, we can climb out of the hell one inch at a time, but you can do it, okay? My story, I lived in hell. I lived in hell hell. And I kept that hell inside of me. I kept it in me and I let it eat at me. I let it destroy dreams. I let it destroy days, hours, moments that I could have spent making memories and doing things that I've always wanted to do. And I didn't. And I hate that feeling. I hate it. And I don't want that for you guys. If you're watching this, I don't want that for you. I want you to be happy. I want you to feel the light inside of you. I want you to walk outside and just be grateful and thankful for everything that you've been given and know that you are trying your hardest to make yourself better. Um, you know, they Rocky had said this in one of his things, you know, like you always hear that, you know, it's not about how hard you, you get hit. It's it's, you know, how you, you get up from that hit. But yeah, but it's how you keep moving forward. People aren't going to remember who knocked you down. They don't, they don't remember the name of the guy that raped me for a year and a half. They're not going to remember that. You know what they're going to remember? They're going to remember that I started at 225 pounds, that I've lost 100 pounds, that every day I am trying to help others and I'm trying to help save their lives. I'm trying to make my life the lives better for my kids, my family, my husband, the people that follow, you know, us, my my dis descendants, right? Well, we say that. Yeah, there had to be a late that moment in there, right? Um, I'm trying to make that better. I'm getting up every day and I'm not giving up and I'm not going to stop. And if I've messaged you and if I've asked you to join my challenge group, I'm doing it because I think it would be good for you. I'm doing it because I love you. I'm not doing it for a sale. I'm not doing it because I wanted you to just try this and then a month later, put it on your shelf and be done. I want this for you because I want it 
to be something that changes your freaking life. I want it to change your family's lives. I want you to never have to look back and regret not starting today, not starting last month. I don't want you to feel that regret because I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like. I know what the pain feels like. I know how you feel hopeless and when you feel like nothing else can absolutely work. Nothing can change. Damn it, I'm here to tell you it can freaking change because I'm freaking proof of it. I'm proof that it can change. I'm proof that you can have someone not believe in you to not believe something you say and to keep you in a shitty spot and as a kid, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. But you know what? You can. As you get older, you break out of that cycle. And you just go. And you just do what is right for you and for your heart, for your family, for your kids. For you. For you. It's not about other people. Because when you start taking care of you, when you take even 30 minutes, Make yourself a priority. All these other things. It's like freaking magic. Rainbows, unicorns, and sunshine. It happens. Stop taking the easy way out. Stop buying the crap that doesn't work. You know what? I tell people, they say, oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to do it this way. I want to wrap myself in this and do, I want a quick fix. And, and you, know, you know what? Don't we all? I wish I could have done that. Like if I could have snapped my fingers and been in a size 8 from a size 18 W, I would have. And I tried, and I did it, I did it, I did it. I spent so much money. I put us in so many financial positions. And I, it, I hate that I did that, but I learned from it. You know, I feel like if I'm not making someone else's life life better each day, then I'm wasting my life. I'm wasting this wonderful opportunity and gift I've been given. So I just want to close it with, if you know your worth, remember I told you to sit down and decide what you want. Know your worth. What What is your worth? What, what, what is it? What is your, what is the worth of you as a mom? As, as, you know, whatever your occupation is, whatever, you know, you do. What is your worth? Go out there and get what you're worth. If you think that you have this, 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 and you truly believe it deep down in your soul, the whole way down to your little tippy toes, then you need to go out and do it. You have to be willing to take the hits because you know what? There are always going to be naysayers. There are going to be people that want to knock you down because, and I've learned, because they're not happy with themselves. And it sometimes it just makes them happier to see you fail or to put that kind of negativity on you. You know what you do with those people? You separate themselves from you and, and your family and whatever you need to do. It's hard, but you got to do it. Sometimes, sometimes they come around, come back around. Sometimes they don't. You got to be okay with that. Don't point the fingers. I'm not pointing the fingers at my mom. I'm not pointing the finger at the step monster that did all that. I'm not pointing fingers anymore. I'm done with that. I'm a strong woman. I'm a strong mother. I'm a strong wife. I'm a strong coach. I'm a strong teammate. And I am not accepting anything but what you are truly, truly able to give. Your true 110%. I'm not accepting it anymore. From my kids, my family, because life's too freaking short. Do you know who make excuses and point fingers and blame? Cowards. Cowards do that. I'm not a coward. You're better than a coward. Are you with me?